Well, hey there, folks. I'm back on the White Farm. We're still in April. Had a little bit done. Oh, shoot. Oh, nothing like starting out an episode with a wreck. <laughs> ah, that figures, doesn't it? But I am recording. Imagine that. I am recording. So I verified that before I got too far. So, what are we going to do today? Well, we've got, got some things to do. And I've got, you see over here in the field, we've got a lot of bells out on the field. We need to pick some of them up. And I've got an idea. I've got an idea about what we can do to make a little bit of silage. And we'll get to that in just a little while. Uh, we're going to get this baler put away first. I'm going to go ahead and squirt it off. Get it cleaned up a bit. And we'll throw it under the barn. Get it out of the way. All right, there's the old pressure washer. So yeah, I uh, actually got quite a few bells off those two fields. So I think it'll make out for some good, uh, good amount of hay that we'll have in the uh, barn, or we can sell it at some point. And uh, hopefully we can, if all goes as planned, we'll make a little bit of silage out of it as well. Or maybe a lot. Who knows? We'll see. This old case was really, really dirty. Almost got it all there. Yeah, that looks good. I tell you, I like that pressure washer. That is really neat. All right. We get this put under the barn. You know what? I'm going to put it right here. I had it under the other shed, but I think we'll throw it over here with the rest of our grass working equipment. We can squeeze it in between the rake and the tether. That should be good right there. All right, and I'm just going to leave that tractor right there. All right, so. I still need to give the chickens some food. So if we take a look at this field here. It's all been mowed, raked, and belled. Now these bells are the uh, smaller bells. So 4,500 liters. So quite a few out there. And then over here in this field, we've got even more ready to go. And you see, I do have the Puma out here with the trailer. I am going to auto load these bells just to get it done. Let me make sure I have. Oh, uh, let's see. There we go. We should have the loading enabled. I don't know if you can. Hopefully, you can't hear some beeping in the microphone. Uh, the neighbor has decided to rent. A uh, one of those tow behind lifts, boom lifts, and he is putting Christmas lights up on his house. He's got a two two story house, and it is uh, not far outside the window that I record out of. So, hopefully, you don't hear the beeping. But if you do, I apologize. Can't do anything about it other than record at a different time. But anyhow, that's the joys of living in a subdivision. I don't have to do that much longer. Actually, you may get most all of these on the trailer. I didn't know quite how many trips we'd have to make, but it looks like this is going to uh, get most of them, if not all of them. swing around here get these two and will we get these last three I don't know I don't know if it'll stack it on up let's see uh no all right that's fine so let's ease on over here to the farmyard and I've got a plan on how to make silage and I don't know if it's gonna work 
<laughs> or how feasible it's going to be. But I'm going to give it a shot. Alright, let's see if we can squeeze by the tractor here. I tried to leave just enough room. Yeah, we'll get by. Alright, so what I'm going to do is we're going to... Let's see. We're going to unload the, the bales and we're going to leave it just like that. We're going to hop in the little John Deere skid loader. And you see I do have the mixing wagon set up over there. So my plan is we're going to get some of these bales off the trailer. Drop them into the mixing wagon, grind them up. And then load it into the silo because the silo will actually create hay, si hay silage. Two bells there. Ooh, little tippy, little tippy. Oh, don't you don't drag off the edge. There we go. Alright, two in. We can grab two more. Now you know, I think that the sides on this trailer unfold. So I may need to do that. This, this little loader is just not quite tall enough. Not quite tall enough. But it works good. It's a little cheap loader. It works good for the farm. I think it's priced right and kind of fits a small farm like this. There we go. All right, let me let me see if we can unload or unfold this trailer here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. All the sides down here, yep, they are. Okay, so that'll make that a little bit easier. And let's go ahead and crank this up. And we'll start overloading that hay, the hay into the silo. All right, back in the skid loader. And we'll get, you see the bells are disappearing there in the mixer. So let's go ahead and grab two more and see how this goes. Should be a lot easier to get these They're down lower. Yeah, that works much better. If we can get these in before it stops, I think it'll continue. I'll do that. There we go. Let's see, are we still overloading? And yes, we are. Perfect. So this is actually not, not taking too long. Uh, parking the trailer right here beside the uh, makes a wagon makes. Let's go a lot easier. Oh, looks like the, the wagon has stopped mixing, so we have to get it loaded up again, and then we'll be able to continue on. So I think that's what we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and try to finish loading up the rest of these bales, and then we'll see where we're at and what we need to get into. Hopefully, ooh, can I reach? Ooh, just barely, just barely got them on the end of those tines of spears on the bell, bell forks. Yeah, that works real good. All right, great. So this is a little bit herky-jerky. I could zoom out a bit, I guess. I don't want to make you guys motion sick trying to watch all of this. So I'll get them loaded. I'll bring it back in and see where we're at. Well, I was just putting up a the last of the bells, and I had a pig out. I sure did. I saw a pig running through the barn here. They come around from over here. They come running through the barn. I could not get record <laughs> going fast enough. Uh, he must have jumped back into the pen. 
Sneaky little pig. I gotta watch out for them pigs now. I'm not lying. It was running around the outside of the barn. Whew, that was... That was interesting. Alright, so... I've got all the bells picked up off the field. And I've got them all put into the grinder and all into the... Uh, fermenting silos, so... We'll take a look in just a moment. We'll get this part and see just how many we ended up with, or well, I guess how many liters we ended up with. All right, so uh, just kind of to update you too, if we look here, so we still have uh, 20 bales of hay in the barn and 13 bales of straw, so still plenty of hay and straw. So uh, let's run around here, so... Uh, yep, it does look like it is done filling, so, yeah, 206,000 liters of hay. Now, we did have some silage already in there, but we are up to 100,000, so by the time it's all said and done with, we'll have a little over 300,000 liters of silage. Now, we'll hold on to some of that so that we can feed the cows, but we can sell a lot of it, I think. Ooh, can I make this turn as sharp? Yep. Just made it. We'll get this put back under the barn house. The field that I just purchased, the larger grass field, needs to be plowed, I'm pretty sure. Let's double check that. Uh, let's see, it's over here. And it does need to be plowed. So I do need to plow that, and then we can worry about getting some, some uh, seeds planted in it. So let me see, I thought I bought a plow. I did, and it is, <laughs> of course, tucked away behind the other one. So let's pull this one out. If only it was this easy to connect equipment. one of the toughest things is when you just don't get the tractor lined up just right and one of those lift arms just fight you fight you they don't want to uh, go in and you have to end up dragging the implement just a bit one way or the other to get it to line up or you have to disconnect and reposition the tractor it can be very frustrating at times So since we are done with the mixing wagon over here, I'm going to go ahead and put it back into the cow barn. That's where we're keeping it uh, because that silo there is where we're emptying out uh, well, of the silo and putting it to the feed mixer here. So let's push it back in here. We can get it all the way back to the back. And that's where the uh, discharge spout is. I cannot believe that pig ran out of the barn. Alright, I tell you this little puma here is quiet and drives really nicely. I've been very pleased with this one. see here get around this pole try not to hit it again and let's make sure we're getting all the way to the edge of the field yeah it looks like we are so let's go with that and just to double check make sure we are getting our plow state changed and we are uh, now this field will need let's see do we need some Lime in this one. Yeah, it looks like we will. Which is a little bit frustrating because <laughs> I have been leasing the lime spreader. So I guess I'll have to lease it again. Probably need to break down and buy one at some point. 
Now, this pile is pretty small, so it's going to take quite a bit of time to get this fuel done, and, uh, well, yeah, it's going to take a while. Take a while. So I will for sure let a helper give me a hand, uh, at least for a little bit of it. I tell you, I do like the movement on this particular plow. You got the tines that are getting lifted up with the springs there. That is a really cool animation, really, really well done. Yeah, so once we get this field plowed, uh, the plan is I'll get some fertil uh, not fertilizer, get some lime put on it. And then we're going to uh, plant the sorghum here. Now the cedar I have, I'm pretty sure does direct, dr direct drill. So I won't have to uh, do anything else uh, to this field or the grass field that we have back on the property. I'm kind of debating now since we do have the grass working equipment again. Leaving that field as grass, but I think I think we have enough this year. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get some sorghum planted on that too. We'll do two fields of sorghum, actually three. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I think we will. We'll do three fields of sorghum. It'll grow grow off quick, and then I think we can either go ahead and plant some grass then. Maybe get uh, one crop of grass, one cutting, at the end of the year. Or maybe we'll plant some soybeans or something and get in. Uh, I think I think that's what we're planning. Let's look at the calendar here. See what we could do. Uh, no, not soybeans. Let's see. Okay, so we would be planting our canola or wheat maybe after the uh, sorghum comes off. So. Yeah, we'll see. See what we do. Little bitty stones are being turned up by this plow, but uh, I think those will just be okay to leave on the field. So that's what we'll do. This is working out well. A little bit small. It's not a giant plow, but it's okay. We're not having to plow too much. Uh, of course, we're planting the corn and potatoes, things like that. We do have to plow after that. And once this field has been plowed, you know, unless we plant one of those crops that we need to plow afterwards, uh, then we shouldn't have to plow it very often. So... It's kind of a one and done. So it'll take a little bit of time with this plow, but I don't really see the point in spending any uh, any money on a bigger plow at this point. I think we'll be okay. All right. Well, let me continue on with this. We get uh, most of it, not all of it done. Hopefully I don't run out of daylight. I don't think I will. We'll be back. Alright, I believe that is everything. Let me just double check. It does appear. I will check the map here. Make sure I didn't miss any spots along the way. Nope, looks good. Alright, so we've got this field plowed. And it eats some lime, so I'm probably just going to run down and rent again another spreader and get some more lime put out and then we'll be good to go we'll be ready to plant oh i don't think i'll be able to get the planting in today might have to wait until oh uh, may i guess so that's what we'll do i'll get some lime put out and then the next episode we'll be ready to put some sorghum out and I think that we should be able to have a little bit of product to sell next month as well. We've got some eggs going. 
and we still have a few pallets of the mixed salad that I need to get rid of so get a little cash back in our pockets thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you did please be sure and click the thumbs up button if you have not subscribed to the channel yet I appreciate if you go ahead and click subscribe today make sure you click the bell so you're notified of all content appreciate each and every one of you for watching I hope each of you have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. We'll see you back here very soon.